Do you like Harry Potter? Do you enjoy battle royales that take more skill than pressing a button on a blender? Do you just really want to try and bring your father back from his 22 year old journey to get milk through magical means where you attempt to summon him but lose an arm and a leg? Then this is a game for you. Welcome to Spellbreak. Spellbreak is a battle royale, but the twist is that instead of guns that can blast you from across the map, you get spells that can inflict burning, shock, and instant anger at seeing someone fly away from you for the fifth time in a row. In this game, you can pick one out of six classes to play before you inevitably realize you hate most of them. These classes are Mountain Dew, Double A Batteries, Ice Ice Baby, Hurricane Katrina, Flaming Hot Cheetos, and Complete Garbage. Each of them have their own kind of projectile that range from easily one-shotting people to being countered by anyone who can stay even a meter off the ground. They also have spells that can be used every few seconds that can be combined with other spells to inflict a wide array of hellfire upon war-torn countries. But just like in real life, it doesn't matter how hard you work towards something if you don't have the talent for it. So before starting a match, you can select three talents that give small or enormous buffs towards your character. These go from being able to run faster to having a bit of extra health to being able to not only see where the next circle and drops are but also track any enemy in your area every 10 seconds? It really is obvious that some of these received a bit more leniency than others in the quality assurance department, but alas I guess that's just a metaphor for how parents love one child over the others they have. Anyway, for everything I've talked about so far, you can decide on what you want before the match begins, but for runes, it's the contrary. You can only find these randomly around the map, which creates some fun and quirky situations where you are stuck with some really garbage rune for a long time, while you can only wish for the sweet release of magical dust. Listing them in no particular order, we got Teleportation, which allows you to move a certain distance almost immediately. But are you really the same person you were before? Or a clone of yourself made from new cells? Wolf Blood, which outlines all the players near you, so you can hunt down all the people cowering in bushes like the absolute scum they are. Spring Step, don't pick this up. Featherfall, which grants you the ability to become a flying, easy to hit, test the mass. Invisibility, that doesn't make you completely invisible, except if the enemy has myopia like me. Dash, which lets you, well, dash. Shadow Step, aka the cooler dash, because it does the same thing but also makes you invisible. Chronomancer, which lets you become Tracer from Overwatch. And Flight, which if I do see you abuse this to instantly escape in the middle of a fight, I have gotten permission from Proletariat to shoot you in real life. Well, I mean, not yet, but they'll respond to my email. Eventually. But enough about what you can do to make yourself stronger before you eventually lose every single round you play. How about we talk about the actual gameplay? The mechanics of Spellbreak make for a very three dimensional playing field where learning to abuse your environment is necessary so you don't accidentally fall into a random pit and die. You also have a mana bar that is used between throwing projectiles and floating. Managing the mana bar and mastering it will make all the difference between deleting everyone with ease and accidentally making a stone user good. And of course, there is also your usual RNG pizzazz with a random circle, random drops, and everyone's favorite, rarities. Hope you like running some uncommon items against someone decked out with a full legendary set. But hey, if Battle Royale isn't your cup of tea, then you can also play Clash, which is a glorified TDM mode, which also includes random drops because... Why? With that being said, there is something I want to bring to everyone's attention. The true purpose of this video is not to talk about the game itself, but to inform you about the corporate behind who had the idea for the flight rune. This crazed maniac is at fault for the worst mechanics in every game you know. He's behind trailing missions, unskippable cutscenes, the entirety of Resident Evil 6. If you find this demented lunatic, it is recommended that you don't come into close contact 
contact as he is extremely dangerous and is known to prompt at isolated individuals and spew the entire story of his favorite MMORPG games. This is even more concerning due to the fact that it is documented that the only other person who pays attention to the story of an MMORPG is the writer himself. So please be careful and call the local authorities in case of coming into contact with him. However, if he already has his sights on you, all you can do is bunker down, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and pray. With that being said, Spellbreak is an interesting game which follows the BR formula to a heavy degree but also has its own way to spice it up. So in conclusion, should you play Spellbreak? Mm, yeah? I mean it's a fun game, don't get me wrong, but be ready to become frustrated or bored when you realize everyone has like 20 different options to dip from fights and you end up with final circles that have more people in them than your usual porn orgies.